Hey guys, welcome back. This week we're going to take a look at a new feature in Dynamics 365 Advanced Warehouse called Quality Check at the Dock. Okay, so we'll take a look at that when we get right back. Hey guys, I'm Scott and this is the Dynamics Post. And like I said, this week we're going to talk about a new feature in Advanced Warehouse called Quality Check at the Dock. So what this allows us to do is, as the warehouse workers are checking in a purchase order, it allows them to, to designate the item as needing a quality check. So it's either an accept or reject, pretty simple functionality. If they accept the item, it's gonna allow it to flow through straight to the shelf. If they reject the item, it's gonna ask them to send it to a quality uh, location. Now, when you're setting this up, you have the option of creating a quality order as well, as well as the movement. Um, in this example, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create the movement. I'm not gonna create the quality order. We've, we've done quality orders before. Um, but uh, this week we're just going to do the movement. So the scenario would be like if you just wanted to maybe repair the item or put it in an area uh, to send it back to the vendor, for example. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the setup on that first. All right, so let's take a look at the setup on this. And this is like really setting up any other work types. So there's, there's several places we're going to have to hit, but um, it's not too hard. So um, let's go into the locations first. So we're going to go to warehouse management. We're going to go to setup and then we're going to go underneath the warehouse and then we're going to go to locations. So what we need to do is set up a location to put our, our items in that need a quality check or some further uh, fixing. So I set up a location, just call it QMS in location 24 to use. And I just, I'm not using a license plate for it, uh, but just need some location that you can use to direct the goods to if there's an issue with them. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a work class. And to do that, we're going to go still be under warehouse management setup. We're going to look under work and then we're going to go into work classes. And I just set up a work class called quality check. We're going to use this one here in a minute when we set up our work template, but uh, just set up that code there. Quality check. All right. So the next place we're going to go is a new screen. So we're still under the same place. So set up uh, work and then there's a work. Um, there's a quality check template underneath that. So we're going to go to quality check template. I've just created a template uh, called quality check. Um, so let's go ahead and edit this so we can see the options here. So the accept policy, you can either do a prompt user or auto reject. Um, so I'm going to prompt the user to either accept the item or reject it. And then I can also create work only or create a quality order. All right. So I'm, I'm just planning on moving my items to the new location. I'm not going to create a quality order, but you can create a quality order just by selecting create quality order and then specifying a test group that you want to create it under. Okay. Since I'm only creating work, I don't need a test group there. And that's why that's going to be blank. All right. So the next place we're going to go is we're going to go to a work template. So we're going to go under same spot, set up work and then work templates. We've got a new work order type here called quality and quality check. Let's select that. I've created a real basic template here. Uh, work name, you know, just the name is just quality check. Put a simple pick and put on there. And then this is where I'm using my work class in the quality check here. All right, so very simple there. The next place we want to do on the work templates is going to update the template for the order we're process. So I'm going to do a purchase order using warehouse 24. So I'm going to use this receipt template. And I've added a line in here called of a new work type called quality check. Uh, work class on this is still going to be purchased. And then uh, the quality check template I was going to use was quality check. That's the one we looked at. But whichever one, whatever yours is called, that's what you want to specify here. All right. So it's important that this thing goes after the pick, but before the put. So it'll actually warn you if you're out of that order. Um, so what I'll do is I haven't set up transfer orders, but, uh, just to show you what, uh, what that will look like when you add that, I'm gonna go to the transfer receipt. And if I come down here to the details and click new, the work type is going to be a uh, quality check. Uh, work class ID is transfer in and I'll go ahead and save here. I would need to go ahead and specify the quality check, uh, the template. And then it tells me that it's invalid because the quality uh, check must become must come directly after a pick. So what you want to do is just move that up there and get that after your pick line there. Okay. But for this one, I don't really want to do these on my transfer order. So I'm going to take this line out so I don't get prompted for that. So incidentally, if, if I wanted to control what, um, which orders got quality checks on, this is where I would do it. So on the work template, I would do edit query and on the one with the, uh, on the quality check, 
I would put in whatever criteria that I wanted to uh, select on. So, you know, in this query screen, I can add lines to this query screen, put whatever criteria I want in here so that this template takes effect, right? So whatever orders you want the uh, quality check to take effect on, you'll put it, put that in the edit query and then add another uh, work template here that doesn't have any options in it. So then that it def everything else defaults to that. So the, uh, the, the new one that you add would only have a pick and a put line. It wouldn't have the quality check line in it. So we'll save that. Um, one other thing I mentioned, I thought, I was hoping that uh, this would work on return orders, but but uh, it looks hopeful, but it doesn't actually let you do it. So uh, for RMAs, for example, I was hoping we'd be able to do it here, but um, it doesn't look like we can. So it, it kind of looks hopeful when you start adding it. Um, it kind of looks like it will, you know, you're getting the same type errors um, we did before. But then when you try and move this up, it's going to give us a uh, invalid and it's not allowed on this current transaction type. So, so it's a bummer. It's not allowed on, on return orders, but uh, maybe that'll come someday. All right. Now the last thing we need to take a look at, or actually next to last, there's two things we need to look at is the lo first thing is the location directive. So we're going to warehouse manage management setup and location directives. And we've got a new uh, work order type called quality and quality check. We just need to make sure we have a location directive here just for the put type. Um, pretty simple. I've added um, pretty much everything here. All quantities are going to go to this uh, QMS location. Um, and then if I hit the edit query here, I've just set the location as QMS. So everything's going to go to that QMS location. So, But you just put in the criteria there where you wanted everything to go. All right. And then the last thing we need to do is we need to go underneath the uh, warehouse management setup and then the uh, mobile device and mobile device menu items. And under the receiving, purchase receiving app. So it's purchase receive app. Um, or sorry, excuse me, the purchase put away app. Just make sure you add your quality check uh, work class to the, uh, to the purchase put away there. All right, for the example here, what we're going to do is we're going to create two purchase orders. Same PO, same, just one item each on it just to demonstrate it. And we're going to receive one and just accept it is it's good and ready to go. The next one will reject so it goes to the quality area. Okay, so let's take a look and see how that works now. So let's take a look at how this functionality actually works. Okay, so for our example today, I've created two POs, uh, 151 and 152. Both of them just have one of an A001 in, uh, in warehouse 24. Okay, so we're going to start off with uh, PO number 151 and you're going to start off receiving it just as you normally would. So I'm going to go to the mobile device and then I'm going to go to the inbound menu and I'm going to do purchase receive and put in my PO number. We'll do 151 here first. And our item is A001 uh, for a quantity of one. And we're going to say okay. All right. And so that one's done. And so let me cancel out of this one. And then we'll do the 152 next. So we'll paste that in there. And then we'll do 152. Say OK. And then we're going to do A001 uh, for a quantity of one. And say OK. All right. So let's go and take a look at the work that was created real quick. So we're going to go back here to the Dynamics 365 screen. And let's go under Warehouse Management. And we're going to go under and take a look at the work. Let's go under all work. And so here's our two purchase order work. So if, these are both going to be exactly the same at this point. So if I click on this one, the, the 68 for the order number 151. Notice I've got a pick and then I've got a quality check and then I've got a put. Okay. So the first one let's do, let's, let's just accept it and say, you know, that we're going to go ahead and put it away to FL001. It's going to be okay. All right. So let's go back to our mobile device. And I'm going to cancel out of this and I'm going to do my, do my purchase put away. And I'm going to put in my work ID in there. And it's telling me to pick uh, from the receiving location an A001. So I'm going to say OK. And now it's going to ask me to do a quality check. OK. So at this point, if I just accept the quality check, I'm just going to hit the check mark right here. That's going to accept it. And if we come back to the work here, let's go and refresh it. 
Notice we have the pick and the quality checker complete. Now this is a, a receiving by grouping, so to, to I could scan the next license plate, but I wanna do them separately. So I'm just gonna hit the, uh, the little next button here and then it's gonna take me to the put step. So it's gonna tell me to put it in location FL001. Okay, so I'm just gonna say okay to that. And then that one should be good to go. So if I hit refresh there, that's closed work now. Let's close out of this one. We'll show the closed work. And if we slide down here and come back to this one that's closed, we'll see that that work has been closed. We did, we did the pick, the quality check, and then the put. Okay. So the next one, let's take a look at and let's reject it here. So let's go ahead and see what happens then. So if we take this second one here, copy that. Let's go back to our, we're still in our uh, put away screen. So we'll paste that one in there. Say so, okay. Same screen as before. So we're just going to say okay. Now this time, the quality check, let's just say we're going to reject it. So we're not going to hit the check mark down here. We're going to come up here to the menu option, and then we'll do a reject. And then we're going to go ahead and hit the continue button. And then that work is completed. So notice there was no put step on that one yet. Okay. So let's come back to our work. We'll go ahead and refresh this screen. And notice that our, our 151 work is closed. So let's go ahead and take a look at that one first. So all our, our, our lines are closed here. But at the same time, a new work was created. It was a quality in check. So here's the new work, number 70. So let's go ahead and take a look at that one. And now it's going to tell us to pick this item up from the receive and take it to the QMS location. So to do that, we're going to copy that. And we can use our same screen. That's why we added the, the class work class to our screen. So if we take and paste that in there and say OK. Um, it's going to, again, this is grouping, so I could scan more than one group, so, but I'm just going to continue. And so it's going to tell me to put it into the QMS location. And we're going to say OK. And now we're done. All right, so this new functionality allows you to create a quality movement or a quality order and a movement from the Advanced Warehouse, which is a pretty neat feature. Okay, so very handy when you're receiving in merchandise just to do a quick movement so it's not you know, you don't have to put it away or do another type of movement, okay? So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and like it. Uh, that just helps the distribution of the video. And also I put one of these videos out about once or twice a week, some different uh, dynamics process. So if you like these videos, please feel free to subscribe. You'll get notified when I upload a new video. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, thanks for watching.